How does it feel waking up Mrs. Ross? It feels uh, amazing. <laughs> I'm so glad I'm finally married to you. You are so beautiful, Jenny. I mean, like, wow. <laughs> Did you want to put that thing down and come here? Come here. <laughs> to know if you were gonna come upstairs. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it's just, um, I thought you were asleep, so. I thought I'd wait up to see if you wanted to, you know. What was that? What was what? What you were looking at on the computer, what was that? I um, really weren't supposed to see that. It, it's nothing, really. How long has this been going on? Babe, it's nothing. It's nothing. We've been married less than a year and we haven't had sex in over a month. It's nothing. I mean, I do everything short of saran wrap to get your attention and you only want to have sex in the middle of the night. Wait. You've been watching that and then coming to me? Yes, but listen, it's not what you think, it's I not... can't believe it. You've been watching that crap, getting excited, and then coming to me to get yourself off? I'm so no, stupid! No, 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 wait, it's not like that at all. Really? What's it like then, Sam? You know, I don't know why you're taking this all so personal. A lot of guys look at that stuff. It's no big deal. It's not like I'm cheating on you or something. What? You're not cheating on me? What? Okay, so... You aren't turned on by my overt advances, but you are turned on by strange naked women. Sam, when we got married, you promised that I'd be the only one you came to. You promised. Babe, you are the only one. I'm not. You know what? Don't call me babe. You don't get to call me babe right now. Okay, okay. Jen, listen, you're the only one. I'm not the only one. Those are real women, Sam with real lives somewhere. And you're looking at and lusting after other women, period. I don't know, sometimes I just need, crave something new, you know, something diff different. Different. Okay. Hi, you said we could talk today? Yes. Look, Jim, what I said yesterday was really stupid, and I'm really... We've been married a year, and already I'm, I'm not enough for you. And at some point, this stuff is not going to be enough for you either. What is going to keep you from plunging deeper and deeper into this until it gets out of hand? I, I don't know. It's, it's not like that. It's not that simple. I'm scared. I don't like it. I mean, I can't measure up to these women. How? How can I compete with these girls, Sam? You shouldn't have to. Look, I don't like that I like this stuff. It's been a part of my life for so long, you know, and it's never really hurt anybody until now. I didn't know that it would. I had no idea how much it would hurt you, hurt us. And I'm so sorry. I love you, Sam. This just can't be part of our marriage. It, it just can't. I know. I realize that. I tried to stop before, and I'm good for a few days you know, a week. But then those images, I can't get rid of the ones that are burning to my head, you know? It just keeps sucking me back in, you know? And it's always out there just lurking, waiting for me to get back to it, you know? And everything is a trigger. Every, every short skirt, every pretty girl, every magazine, every sexy commercial. It just keeps sucking me back in, you know? I didn't know that. I didn't know any of this. 
understand it. And I don't know how to help you, Sam. But I want to, though. <laughs> I just don't want us to be fighting the same battle ten years from now. I know. Me either. So what do we do? For now, we just keep talking about it. All right. Okay. I know that this is really difficult for you. Are you sure? Yeah. I want to keep talking about it. the same.